Hey guys, and welcome back to my vehicle because I don't know, I just want to start vlogging with you guys as much as I can. Monday through Friday, I'm way too busy with work stuff that I can't incorporate, obviously, because I, I don't want to embarrass them with my shenanigans. And, um, and then there's just, it's just like the m weekly grind of like getting the kids to school, getting myself to work, getting the kids, you know, homework done, and then getting their chores done, and then bath time, and then bedtime, and whatever activities they have going on in between. So I just thought when I'm actually doing something on the weekends that I would share it with you guys. And this weekend is going to be pretty hectic. Um, today I'm going to go get these claws taken care of because they look horrible. They're like three weeks out and they've grown quite a bit. And then this evening at like four o'clock we're going to a friend's birthday party which is like you know cookout laid back kind of style. Thank you. That's very nice. And then tomorrow I'm going to help my grandmother clean up her house because she sold it. Although she called me a few weeks ago and was like, can you come help me pack? And I was like, yeah, sure. So I had plans to come up there. I was like getting ready to call her that day to be like, as soon as I'm done with work, I'll be on my way. And she called me or I called her and she was like, oh, I already did it. She really just is not in the best of health. She got hit by a drunk driver at like nine o'clock in the morning, um, going to work one day on her way to go clean like some residential or one of her business accounts and um, got hit by a drunk driver. He had no insurance whatsoever. He had nothing really and I mean, we were all pretty upset about it obviously she pulled through which is the main thing like i still feel very grateful that god let me keep her a little bit longer um not gonna cry i'm not gonna cry make it looks good but she's had a really hard go at it just like health wise and um, she always had a hard time breathing before because she has extremely bad allergies and ever since the she had two collapsed lungs in that accident as well as some broken ribs so now breathing is like a freaking chore for her a workout so the fact that she did it by herself is ridiculous but it's like that's my grandmother like she's always she had eight kids and her house was like immaculate 90 percent of the time um like her friend not 90 percent 100 percent of the time she would kill me she'd be like where was that 10 percent my house was always clean and when i moved in with her um that's what i got to live with like just immaculate like it honestly felt like everything they owned the entire house was brand spanking new all the time and that's just the way that she kept things so i'm sure we're gonna go to clean and it's gonna be like clean what what grand what am I clean? <laughs> Either that or I'll call her and find out that she's already done it. Because that wouldn't surprise me. But yeah, um, after I get my nails done, I've got to run out and figure out what to get Megan for her birthday. She's fun to shop for because she likes craft supplies and makeup. But I think I'm going in the direction of craft supplies. Like, I'd rather get her a really cute tote and fill it full of, like, craft supplies. And I think she'd love that. I think that's what we're going to do. I think we'll go over to Joanne's, I think it's over here. Go check that out. But first, claws. Okay, so my nails are done. They are really cool. Let me try and show you. They're like white when I'm warm and this pretty like blue, almost ocean-y color when I'm cold. I like it. And I got some extra bling glitter on my ring fingers. I like that. But it, I went really light with it this time. I think it looks really cute. Anywho, anywho, I obviously stopped and got Starbucks. I got a Danish too, but I ate it already. So Joanne's is actually right behind me, but I remembered Bargain Hunt is right beside it. And I don't like to buy, I feel like they're staring at me. I don't like to buy gift bags. I feel like it's kind of a waste, so I want to find her something to put her presents in that is not a gift bag. For the wedding, I found this really cute, it looks like a picnic basket, but it doesn't have handles, it just has the inset, um, like parts out of it. 
So I found that and put all their wedding presents in that and then put the pillow that I made for them on top of it and tied it up with twine. So I'm gonna go in here real quick and just just peek around a little bit and try to keep in mind that I'm here shopping for presents for a friend and not for myself and I'm gonna run into Bargain Hut real quick and uh, we'll, see what, we'll see what I find. I'll just wait until I get back out here with you guys. I'm not gonna do, we've already seen the inside of Bargain Hut, <laughs> Bargain Hut. <laughs> So I think that I'll just wait and show you guys when I get back out here. Oh my God, I got so much stuff. Okay, but I only spent like $30. So like I said, I hate just putting gifts into um, a gift bag. So I got her this bag right here, which I thought would be so cute for the next time she goes to the beach. I spent $4 on this bag. And then I got her I so far have really liked this brand, Sonia Kaushik. It is um, a grapefruit, verbena, and musk perfume. So maybe she'll like that. It was only $3. And then for a dollar each, little Miss Crafty, I got her some really cool duct tape. I don't even have to go to Joann's because I got so much good stuff. I just have to pull these stickers off. So I got her three candles. One is vanilla mousse, another is coconut col colada, and the other is honeydew lily. And they are all by Starloom. But they come in these cute little tins, and this is so, so Megan. You have no idea. That's exactly her. I did also get myself three of those. Those were only a dollar each. And then I got her this, which is like a build your own planner kind of thing. So it's completely empty. It says you're capable of amazing things. And then it's got the little spot for to, her to do that. And then she can buy the refill to go in here. If we have time, I might stop and like look for those, but they were so cute and they were 40 cents each. So I got, I got her and me this one because I thought that one's really, really cool. I just have to, like I said, find the inserts for those and those are by Brit and Co. And then she's very much into decor. So I got her these like nesting houses. How cute is that? Another cool thing about this is this is from Hearth and Hand. Um, it is a Target brand that um, Chip and Joanna Gaines did. So I just really thought she would like that. This one has the inserts in it. It was $2.25 and it's like a cocktail menu. So it has all of your like recipes. It's even got it like categorized for the months or for the season. So I thought that was really, really cute. That was only $2.25. I got this for our little corner. It lights up and it says namaste. I got this because I thought it was pretty. <laughs> and the Namaste sign, it lights up and it is $6. And this bad boy was three, $2. And then last but not least, I got me another EcoTools blending sponge. EcoTools is like honestly my favorite blender. I normally, well EcoTools or um, Real Techniques. Either one of those are like my two favorite blenders because I can't afford beauty blenders, not with as much as I feel like I need to replace them. So this one was only $3.50. Not a bad deal. So I think it's time to go home, get all this stuff together. It's 12.38. We, we're, the party starts at four, but I told her that we would be a little bit late, that we might not be there till 4.30 or five because Chris is working right now. Um, so I say we get, Let's try not to break this stuff before you get at home, Karen, please. So I say we just go ahead and make our way home. And that way I can get the house cleaned up, this gift together, and maybe, maybe a video filmed? Maybe? I don't know. Oh, whoa, Nelly. Oh my Lord, somebody did something. Oh, we're completely blocked off. We're not going anywhere. Look at this. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see now, but there's three cops here and they blocked the whole thing. Oh, I see airbags. Oh no, I hope somebody's okay. Like it didn't look like anything like hit them. It's almost like they came off the interstate. Like flew off the interstate like that. I don't know. Oh, poor souls. I hope they're okay. <sighs> okay, I feel like this is going on forever. So I guess I'll just get back with you guys a little bit later. I'm gonna get home, unpack this stuff, and try to clean, wait on the hubs, get home so we can go to the party. I know there's gonna be good food. I know that. 
is gonna be a really good fit. So, and the, it was raining when I went into bargain hunt, but when I came out, it was nice and clear. So here's hoping for a pretty day. All right, guys, I will just catch up with you in a little bit. Okay, guys, so we are on our way back from the birthday party, and my amazing, lovely husband stopped at Ulta for me. Yes, in a minute, baby. The guys wanted to get me for Mother's Day. I don't know how they got the idea that I wanted it. I mean, it might have been the fact that I left this magazine out and circled my Matt Bronzer by Too Faced that I've been dying to try. You know what I didn't realize though? I didn't realize is Too Faced not cruelty free because I'm screwing up this whole try not to be um, using brands that aren't cruelty free. But I was already in love with it. So let's just deal with that. We're getting better. So I got it today. Apparently I was supposed to get it the day after Mother's Day, but I was being a turd, so I didn't get it that day. It'd be nice after holidays. You never know what's coming. Right? But I got that and it smells like chocolate. Like straight up chocolate. She's so pretty. Oh, I wish you guys could smell it. She's beautiful. Oh my god, it's like a chocolate bar. I tried to get Chris to smell it. He was not interested. And then I also got, because if you spent $35, you got this for free. It's in the shade Queen Bee. It is their melted matte lipstick. And I had swatched it, but I took it off. But I figure we're going to try this in a get ready with me anyway. So that's fine. And then to get up to the $35, I got the Too Faced lip injector lip injector and my lips it's on my lips right now and they are like straight up tingling like crazy and I would say yeah they definitely have grown look at that oh my god they didn't start tingling at first I thought it was just not gonna work and then my lips were on fire and felt like it was stung by 200 bees so yeah it's working I'm spoiled no you're not I'm not spoiled you are. I think we're both spoiled. I think Daddy spoils both of us. No, you guys spoil me. Well, you don't think Dada spoils me? Both of you spoil me. Both of you guys Because you're our baby. We're supposed to. So I guess we're going to stop and get Sam some more of his allergy, allergy medicine. And then we're going to go home and enjoy the rest of our night. I'm supposed to make meatloaf. It's 7.30. I guess meatloaf doesn't take that long, does it? It's 700. Okay. Okay, guys. Just catching up on what has been going down. So, um, last I left you, I was leaving Ulta. I came home and made some very fancy meatloaf for my loving family. Um, we had a really good night. I've got stuff all over me because I just filmed a couple um, um, bagging unboxings for you guys or with you guys. Um, and I don't know, man, I've got, uh, it's Sunday and it is like 2.36. Do you guys see? Can you ever spot my coffee hiding back here? <laughs> but, um, I love my new sign too. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> I have the rest of the day to get a few things done. So I have like three videos I need to edit, which I'll probably wait and do those later this evening after my husband's gone. I need to give my sister's dog, who I am fur babysitting, a bath and condition his sweet little butt. And then probably before that, uh, I just, I feel like making something. You guys ever get in like that kind of mood where you just want to make something? So I think maybe, I don't know, probably definitely something sweet. My mom used to make those um, oatmeal, I don't know, some people call them mud pies chocolate cookies the no bake ones and I've made them many times or like at least I used to make them a lot and every other time I made them I ruined them so I get kind of down about making those because sometimes they're too thin sometimes they're too thick and honey it's a while before Goldilocks gets it just right I promise you so today my grandmother ended up not needing my help today because her pod's not there yet so we were gonna go to Akira's birthday party and uh, I started and I don't want to go um 
I'm a kind of a baby about it. This is probably TMI, but I'm kind of a baby about it because I had the marina right after Sam was born, like installed right after. So I did not have a period for six years. And then when I went and got it switched out, the period came back and it will not go away. I was assured that if that's how my body reacted before, that's how it would react now. But I almost feel like that's why my body, my body reacted that way because Sam had just been born. So it was like it was still in that don't have a period stage and then I started that so it just stayed in that stage because now I'm having like like real crap. I mean how, it's hard to go six years without having to deal with any of that crap and then bam and it's like ugh, like it's my stomach's like yeah I hate it. I just want to get some stuff done also I need to make some teacher gifts because we're really crappy and we didn't do anything the week of teacher gift week so we gotta get something together i have some really cute like canvas tote bags so i thought i'd put like miss sherry and miss renee on those and um fill them with like their favorite stuff so sam knows that miss renee likes her white cheddar cheez it's so he's you know make her a little jar maybe with miss sherry on it i don't know we're gonna figure it out and get it done today maybe um so that's those are my three things i still want to do six things because it's edit three videos Ugh. it's gonna be a busy day but i love days like this if i get everything done if i don't then it stresses me out but yeah i'll just catch up with you guys throughout the day when maybe later on in the kitchen i have to go out and get bread for the sandwiches for school i also need to get something to contain the teacher's gifts in as well as something for one of the teachers. I have the Cricut which cuts vinyl and HTV which is a heat, heat transfer vinyl. Anyways, um, so I have some tote bags. I'm going to get their names put on them and I don't know. We'll see what color vinyl I have left. Maybe an apple if I have the color vinyl left. I did get the dog bathed. He did not like it, but he needed it, and he's good. So my sister should be happy. She's uh, not only had a free fur babysitter, but she also got free grooming services. So we are here, and I'll be back in a minute, and I probably will just wait until we get home until I start doing something and check back in with you guys until I start working on the teacher gifts or making cookies. Hey guys, so I'm in the kitchen. I'm working on the teacher gifts. So far, kind of so good. I had a little issues with the first bag. So the first bag seemingly looks great, but it stuck to my kitchen table. And now it looks like Dookie on the back. Miss Sherry's turned out pretty good. And then, and then those jars over there, we've got some big ones and some small ones. We're gonna put the teacher's names on it and fill them up with goodies for them. But that all depends on me actually getting it all done in time. Cause basically I have tonight and then tomorrow because the kids probably won't go to school on the half day. And I just feel like, well, I guess they have Wednesday too. So I guess I've got two extra days. Um, I at least want to get the bags done tonight. Um, so far, two down, three to go. And I've got the third one cut. If you guys don't know what a Cricut is, it cuts a, a variety of things. And what I use it most for is what I'm doing. Personalizing stuff. I cut vinyl and iron on vinyl, and that's basically it. I also use it to make cards to write with. Um, if I want my handwriting to look really nice, I can use it to write with. Um, but yeah, and then this is iron on vinyl, so I have to print it kind of backwards, and then you just peel it away. It's pretty cool. It was a Christmas present from my husband. He's the best gift giver, I'm telling you. He's horrible at receiving gifts. He doesn't say a word, but he is the best gift giver. I've tried to beat him before. <laughs> you know, get him better gifts than he got me. It doesn't even matter anymore. He kicks my ass every year. This actually turned out really good. Anyways, I'll show you guys all the stuff when I'm all done. I don't know that I'm gonna make the cookies tonight. It's already 16. I still have one child to bathe. I still have to finish these bags. And I have to edit, I wanna edit three videos. If nothing else, I have to edit and upload one. So 
fingers crossed. I'm probably going to end the vlog here. If not, I'll see you guys here in a minute gonna end the vlog video there um but then I realized like I don't know like I don't I work so much during the week there's not much going on for me to vlog during the week but on the weekends we do some stuff I thought maybe if I just like combine two weekends together especially with this being Memorial Day weekend that we would have I don't know a nice little vlog a nice little time for us to sit down and hang out together so it is Saturday morning, the weekend of Memorial Day. So I have three days off from work. Yes, ma'am. Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And um, Carly is staying with me until Sunday. During the school year, we don't have anything really worked out through the courts except for that he gets her every weekend. But um, I, Carly's dad and I, do not like each other very much. However, we love Carly very much, so we do what is best for her. We try and always do what is best for her. So during the school year, she stays with me all year long. That's where her school is. It's where her brother is. She stays with me during the week. She goes with her dad during the weekends, and when there's a break, she usually goes with him. During the summer, he gets her basically like through. He gets her through the week, so like Monday through Friday and I will pick her and I get her on the weekends but if I want her extra time if I have extra time off usually we can just work it out if he needs her like I was gonna keep her until Tuesday morning because I have Monday off but it is her grandmother's birthday and they're going to Red Lobster so I cannot make her miss that so he's picking her up on Sunday I'm not sure what time today I'm getting my lashes done and then after that I really just want to get some stuff organized some videos edited and do something fun with the kids like that is top of the list to do and then I have to pick up my click list order on time without being stressed out um, Chris is actually leaving for work around noon and then he's gone for the rest of the weekend. He's just gone until Monday. So we are just gonna, I don't know, try and make the best of a bad situation, get some stuff done this weekend. Sunday I'm supposed to do, I think, a trial run with my sister's makeup. However, that might get pushed off a week, I don't know. And then Monday we don't have any plans. So it's just kind of seeing what all I can get done this weekend and be productive. But yeah, I'm going to my last appointment now, so I'll just see you guys afterwards. Alrighty, I just got done at my lash appointment, and the lashes look fabulous, and it was very relaxing, and now I'm ready to go sleep. <laughs> but I have to run to McDonald's and um, get my children their very nutritional breakfast, and um, bring my husband back something too, which I'm sure the kids have ate something by now. Sorry guys, I gotta wear my glasses. I'm gonna get some food and I'll be back with you guys soon. All right, so my lazy booty just got done picking up our groceries from Kroger Clickless. We actually got there a few minutes early, but the girl was really awesome about it. Already had our order ready. Hi. Hang on, Sam. Mm -hmm. Sam wants to be in the video. <laughs> So, um, we're just heading home. The kids are going to help me with their big, strong muscles. Show them your big, strong muscles, Sam. Yeah. Yeah. So, I got some extra help getting the groceries in the house. I already filmed a get ready with me earlier today. And I still need to film and open my prizes that I won from um, the raffles that I won on our um, Suckers for Subscriptions Facebook page, which I always keep linked below just in case any of you guys want to join us there because it is a lot of fun. <laughs> Sam had this thing that he had to fill out for school where it was like, how many kids do you think you're going to have? He, he put down two, by the way, but he really doesn't want any. What did you say? Why did you put down two? Because everybody else did. What if everybody was going to jump off a bridge? Would you do that too? No. Anyway, so he put down two because everybody else was putting down, you know, one or two and he didn't want to he didn't want to seem different. So he put down two, but he really says he doesn't want kids. He also said he was going to live with me forever. Right? And what did you say you want to do for a job when you get bigger? Be a YouTuber. 
<laughs> he wants to do what mommy does. Although, I don't really do this for a living. It's a hobby. Mommy doesn't get paid. You have to have a lot of subscribers to get to get paid off of YouTube. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here because somebody is in the background just having a blast. And we're going to carry groceries in anyway. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay guys, so my sister said I could share this with you. I'm at her friend Tabitha's house and we're getting her ready to like make sure everything goes well for the wedding day. So we did her makeup. She looks so beautiful. I'm dying. Hang on a second. <laughs> oh my so God, I'm gonna cry now. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so that beautiful. The, the, um, mm -hmm. comes on the side. It's super easy. Now the kitchen's awake. <gasps> Super sparkly. I love sparkly. You look like a princess. <laughs> I just want to like, like keep taking pictures of you with your crown on, like put it on Instagram. You're adorable. <laughs> so it is Sunday, May 27th. Um, I just kind of jumped into the day and started showing you guys like the beautiful brunch that we had with my sister. My sister really looked out. She has an amazing friend. Tabitha is, goes above and beyond for her and her house, oh my God, it's just gorgeous. Like, I ain't even gonna lie, I got a little jelly walking through her house. It is just absolutely beautiful and very thoughtfully remodeled because it is an older home. So I like that, like it gives me hope for our little house. Um, but anyways, the brunch was absolutely beautiful. She made these little cucumber sa sandwiches that were delicious. We had chicken and waffles, and the chicken was delicious. We had strawberries from her garden. We had pineapple. Rico is currently scratching his back on the carpet, so I'm sorry about that. But it was just really, really, really cool. I got to do my sister's makeup, her trial run for her wedding, and it honestly turned out really, really good. It was a really good day, and it was... 
fun to like just be with girls and talking about girl stuff and talking about her wedding and I don't get to do that too often. Normally when I'm talking about girly stuff, I'm talking to a camera that don't talk back to me. So I have to wait for your all's comments to roll in to get my girl time with you guys. And for the rest of the day, yeah, I'm just going to edit for the rest of the day basically. Edit and if my arm starts acting better, then I'm gonna get some other stuff done, but my <laughs> my left arm, if I raise it up a little tiny bit or move it the wrong way, it feels like it's gonna like break apart. Um, so I may not get any cleaning or organizing done today because simply lifting my arm hurts. So I'm just trying to use my right arm as much as I possibly can. So I don't know that we'll do anything else today, but I'll check in with you guys if we do. Hey guys, um, it's Sunday and, or no, it's Monday. Crap, it's Memorial Day and we're not doing anything. I'm trying to be quiet because Chris just got back um, and he's trying to get some sleep. Anybody else watch that? I absolutely love Westworld and I didn't realize that they had started back up so I'm catching up. But yeah, I'm just uploading another video with me. Oh, that's a nice, that's a nice picture of my face. Uh, uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm like a week ahead, so this is the get ready with me for next Saturday, or today is Monday. I'm almost a week ahead, I just gotta do one more thing. Yeah. Okay, so Westworld's starting, so I'll get back with you guys in a little while. Hey guys, and welcome back to my little corner. Well, today we're in my bedroom because I have made probably an irrational decision. I've been looking for the IKEA desk so I can eventually take over the room that my father is currently occupying when he moves out to make my filming room slash makeup beauty place I want to live in forever. Um, until then, um, I've just been looking and I found one used for $45. So I'm getting it and now I kind of want to put it in my bedroom until my father moves out so that I can have a little vanity spot. So I'm currently like pulling my bedroom apart and uh, yeah, I already took my, my kimonos down and I already moved my makeup thing. It's rough in here. We haven't painted yet, so mm, we'll get there one of these days. But anyways, if you guys want to join me, I'm going to tear my room apart, organize my closet. It's going to be crazy. I literally moved all the furniture by myself. I got the room totally moved around. Um, we just have some weird stuff and weird places on the wall that I have to get moved around. Um, do you guys see those pictures behind me? That is my husband's way of messing with my OCD. He knows I don't like any of these in here. Although they're gorgeous, Carly did one, Sam did the other, and Chris's mom painted that one. So I love them, but I feel like they are better displayed in our living room because we have a split foyer and there's a big huge wall only has black frames on it it would be perfect I'm gonna try because I do have some artwork that I really want to put up in here so I still need to do that I still need to organize the closet this is gonna be declutter weekend I look like poop I hope you guys stick around for the next little bit hey guys so it is um, Saturday June 2nd I guess I'm gonna have to like tell you guys what day these are because it's basically gonna end up being a month worth of vlogs I just I don't do much on the regular, but there have been some stuff that I've wanted to share with you guys. So today, um, we were hoping to later on roast some marshmallows and make s'mores with the kids, but it rained just enough to soak all of the wood. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that today, but we're trying to figure something out, maybe movie night. I don't know. So I did get my bedroom pulled apart, put back together. Um, everything is basically where I want it except for this empty space right here is where my desk is going to be when I pick it up tomorrow. Um, and then obviously we need to paint here. We need to paint in a lot of rooms in our house. It will come one day. One day we'll have it painted. So I got up this morning, was a little lazy, didn't get up to like 930 and then I went and got my nails done. They're really cool. They're mood changing as well. but. They just get like a deeper red when I'm cold. So it's really cool because the tips look like they have more glitter in them or something. I don't know. I like it. I am honestly like dying to get downstairs and try out my hourglass foundation and play with all my new makeup with you guys. 
So I'm gonna go do that now. I was also working on editing a video. I really want to, next weekend's our anniversary, we're going to the cabin, so I really wanna like get ahead of the game and like have all my videos done, edited, uploaded, scheduled, and ready to go all the way through that Monday. That's the goal for this weekend, but I also need to work on my friend's wedding video because I'm a horrible friend and I have not done that yet. <sighs> my closet looks tremendously better. I honestly didn't even want to show you guys my closet. It was that freaking bad. I did not even want to show it to you guys, but it looks much better now. It's still not like well organized as far as like, I don't like where the shoes are. I would love to get like some clear shoe boxes and organize it a little bit better, but we're just going to deal with what I've got. Anywho, I look like crap. <laughs> I need to go get my makeup on with you guys and then cut away and go do my hair and look like a normal human being because I have Morphe Me to open. I got my BoxyCharm add-on, so I'm trying to decide do I want to wait until I open BoxyCharm this month or do I want to do that as a separate video just because I want to see it and I want to play with it. Um, <laughs> and then what else do I have? I have Ricky's Cult Classics first time unboxing that and then I have a stitch fix so it's Saturday night we've got something to do now so it's gonna be a fun day so I will just check in with you guys here in a little while okay guys so um oh I just like rub this is what happens to me I put on makeup and then I just end up rubbing it off we're in my bathroom I've got to do my hair I'm like done with the get ready with me portion this is where I like cut away go do my hair and stuff it's a hot mess he hasn't answered me yet Carly Mama. Oh, Sam. He has an answer for me yet. Did you guys get it? We don't know that was password. I already asked him. Did it answer yet? No. I'll let you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. They have been dying to get this game called Slime Ranchers. And um, we finally talked Daddy into it, didn't we? <laughs> I know. Hello. <laughs> yeah, we really want Slime Ranchers because that's a really cool game. <laughs> and it's okay. It's called Slime Ranchers. You had to say that for me a few times, didn't you, bud? Yeah, Slime Ranchers. Yeah, it's my favorite game. I know. Even though I didn't play it. Yeah. Yeah. He loves games too much. Yeah. Um. Say bye. Bye. I'll tell you as soon as Dada tells me. What? There's different slimes and there's even like big slimes that eat you. I'll let you guys know as soon as I hear from Chris. Uh, and there's car slimes, which the other slimes. Oh, okay. This is the direction I thought we were going to go in. I didn't think we'd end up talking about slimes. Yeah. Even my 11 year old wants to play it. I watched people play it before he found it. You found it first? Uh-huh. Months ago. Just shut that door. So, um, yeah. I usually try and let it dry as much as I can by itself. And then I start at the bottom and comb it out. I'll probably fast, like, speed through most of this and cut a bunch of it out. But, yeah. It's still really long. I have gave it like a few little trims here and there when I get some split ends. It's sliding out quite a bit. See how far they've slid down? This one was all the way up here at my scalp. But dude, it's been like five weeks. I don't think I've done like a horrible job at like, you know, maintaining them, I guess, or not pulling on them, not tugging on them. But yeah, it's working out for me. Um, it's pretty dry. I think we can start curling it now. I like blow drying it because my hair gets like this natural icky wave in it, which I hate because it's not consistent. If it was consistent, I'd be all about a wave, a natural wave, but it's just not. It's crazy town. So yeah, let's just start curling.
Okay, so now at this point, I'll grab my Way Rose Hair and Body Oil and get a little squirt. Less is more. I get one little tiny squirt. And then I just comb through those curls. I know that. Hey guys, so it is late Saturday night. I actually got a lot of videos recorded, but not all of them, because I got sleepy. I think rearranging the furniture like took it completely out of me, and um, I just can't do anymore. So hopefully tomorrow goes nice and smooth. I can get up in the morning, get ready, um, have a new look, a new eye look for that video for you guys at least instead of the same eye look I've had on all day. Um, I like pre-filming on the weekends because that gives me time during the week to edit if I need to because I try to keep the week just for my family and for my full-time job and so this ends up taking up a lot of my weekend time um, but we really haven't had much to do as a family together lately, so it's actually been really nice to have something to do on the weekends that's just for me. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I hope that you guys will stick around just a little bit longer because I want to show you um, how everything ends up looking over there with my desk. You see my sad makeup on the floor? Let's see. There it is. There's my sad, sad makeup just waiting for my vanity. Um, one day when we do paint this room, what we want to do, well, what I want to do is paint it a light purple. Let's see. Something like the lightest purple in here. So I'm going to let you go for tonight, but I'll see you guys in the morning. Hey guys, look what's in the back. No, not Sam. I got my desk for my vanity. And we are currently yeah. sitting in Arby's parking lot and Arby's drive through for like what the last 20 minutes Carly I'm trying to get me one little sandwich and one small fry they got the meats but they don't have the help so yeah, yeah. <laughs> kids just want to get home and play slime ranchers oh we're moving yeah, up really If anybody else needs to know anything at all about slime ranchers, this guy's your man. Yeah. <laughs> it, uh, it is pretty good though. Especially paired with a glass of Moscato in victory for getting my desk. I've got my vanity. It, didn't she do such a nice job with that contact paper? I think she did. So I just thought you guys could hang out with me while I put this bad boy over here and put all my stuff on it. So I have decided to borrow this ugly, ugly chair from the kitchen. This is not obviously where it needs to go in the long run. In the long run, my dad moves out, I get that room, and I turn it into my little fabulous studio, but I did not want this going in storage. I wanted to go ahead and start utilizing it now. So we're just gonna make do with what we have. Ooh, I have something else that would look good over here. Okay. So I did go to the Dollar Tree and got, well Dollar General, and got a few things to help me out here. I got this, and for now I'm going to go ahead and put it out, but it's just a little like rack thing for drying dishes. <laughs> Later on I'm going to pull it off, I'm going to spray it with some kind of sparkly paint. I think I have gold or I might even have silver downstairs, but I thought that would be cool to put my palettes in. I don't know, I might even just leave it white because that looks really good. And then I got this little base, some silver little like rocks to go in it. Um, and I was going to put my wet and wild brushes in that. I had planned on waiting until I got my beauty room to use those too, but I don't know, the more I think about it, 
you only live once, you never know how long you're going to be here, why wait? I'm not holding on to makeup for special occasions anymore because that stuff has a shelf life and because I'm tired of like waiting for a better time to enjoy the, the nice things that I have. So, here we go. Let's see what this looks like. If I can even get into this. Hold on a second. This is satisfying, oddly. I didn't know if I need one or two. I got two. I feel like I might need half of this. But hey, I know where to go if I need more. If I, like, I decide I wanted to do another one. Okay. So let's open up my brushes. I got this like before Christmas. Or maybe it was right after Christmas. It was around Christmas. These have a little hint of pink to them, but they are like silvery, just with a little bit of a pink. I thought they would look really cool displayed in here. Please be enough room. Alright. Oh, that looks so good. Ah, look how freaking cute that is. I'm worried I'm gonna mess it up, but look how cute. And the rocks were $2.50. The vase, well, for each, you know, little container, the vase was $3. And these brushes were normally $30, but I got them for like 10. It was crazy. It was ridiculous. And I still have some more of these left over. So it's a little bit like still pretty disorganized, but I don't really have anything to put them in yet. I'll get there. Hey, how you girls doing? I think that just turned out really, really cute. So freaking cute for just a few bucks. And that thing's handy. All my palettes, nice and neat. What do you guys think? $45. <sighs> I absolutely love it. Yeah. Okay, guys. Yeah. Okay, somehow I forgot about all of this. This is like my makeup that I use on a daily basis. It's on a little tray. I'm going to work this in. Okay, guys. So it's still not perfect because I don't have a lot of organizers, but yeah. <laughs> all my color pops. I still want to do swatches, like really up close swatches for you guys, but I love those shades. They are just gorgeous. I've had so much fun playing with those. Ah, uh, my little brush thing just turned out too cute. Yeah, that's it guys. That's my little oasis as it is now. And it will just get better and better and better guys when we get our own little room. It's Sunday night. I have to, have to open, um, Sorry, I'm like really, really bad back lit right now. But I have to open my Stitch Fix box with you guys because um, I gotta get what I don't wanna keep sent back. Um, I'm just gonna have a couple glasses of wine before we get started. I'm gonna relax a little bit and then I'm gonna jump down there with you guys. But now I got a nice little spot to get ready. I absolutely love it. I'm just like, <sighs> my husband's full. Hey guys, so I feel like that was probably like the weirdest weekend vlog anyone has ever done. I'm sure it seemed very broken up at times and the lighting wasn't always awesome, but I really, really did enjoy hanging out with you guys every weekend and getting to like jump. I mean, I really do feel like I'm like jumping in and be like, hey guys, guess what? This is what I bought. This is what I'm doing. Look at this. <sighs> I cannot tell you how much I appreciate you guys watching these little videos that I put up because I see who watch, like I see you guys watching, you comment, 
it means the world to me so thank you so so much I just got done filming my stitch Hicks video I will not be doing anything else YouTube related other than editing the next couple days so that I can make sure I'm done for a while just so I can enjoy my anniversary with my husband so don't worry I will be answering your all's comments I could not stay away that much I'm not doing anything else tonight other than taking advantage of the fact that I have this other outfit here and I decided to go ahead and film the giveaway video for you guys that I've been waiting to film so it might not be up for a little while but it is coming just so you know so I just really quick want to say thank you guys so much for hanging out with me during this long crazy vlog I love you guys so much Mwah. I'm not even gonna say all the usual stuff just thank you guys so much for watching I love you bye